Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. I'm super happy today because the shoes that I told you guys about actually did come today. Um, I filmed the video, the unboxing, um, and I gotta say, it's gonna be a good video. But there's too much Apple news to be posting that today, so that will have to come either tomorrow or the next day. Whenever there's less Apple news, I will post that. Um, but I will say this, none of you guys guessed what it is, but I know one of you people watching this definitely has an idea, I think, like about a year ago, I told you about it, but <laughs> regardless, they fit perfectly. I've already sprayed Crep Protect on both of them, so um, they are going to be protected. Get hyped for that video. All right, so today's song of the day is going to be put at the end of the video. Uh, you guys can already kind of see which song it is uh, by my tabs up, but regardless, let's get into the Apple News story of the day. The new iPad Pro has comparable performance to the 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro and benchmarks. Now, for those of you wondering, yes, I am running the 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro maxed out uh, pretty much completely except for the storage. So this thing is a beast. And this 2018 iPad Pro, as you guys can see here from these Geekbench scores, it's pretty close. So here's the 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro. It beats the 2.2 gigahertz in single core score, barely, but still. And then it doesn't quite match them in the multi-core score, but it is close. So this is really cool to see. I mean, this is just a, a tablet that's rivaling, you know, a MacBook. And this goes to show you guys that I think in 2020 or maybe 2021, we are going to see MacBook Pros with the ARM chips, the ARM chips, instead of the Intel chips, which we currently have, because Apple's engineering is just going so far. It's just outpacing Intel. Um, now, bear in mind, this is an iPad. This is not a laptop. Like this thing does not have all the bells and whistles. It doesn't run Mac OS. It doesn't, you can't do Xcode on it. You can't do a whole lot of stuff. So bear that in mind, it's just numbers. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of overkill in a sense. I mean, an iPad with this much power, but you can hardly use it because it's an iPad. I don't know, that's just my thoughts on it. But let me know yours below if you guys have a different um, perspective. I love to hear other perspectives, but that's kind of where I'm le leaning with this. It's just, it's kind of overkill. But it's really cool to see, nonetheless, don't get me wrong. All right, so this is a really cool one. The 2019 iPhones are going to have a better Face ID camera system, according to Ming-Chi Ko. So he basically came out and said that the next gen iPhones in 2019 will have a new flood illuminator that will improve Face ID by lowering the impact of invisible light from the environment. Quo believes the upgraded sensor will be included in all 2019 iPhone models, which he has previously said will again consist of two OLEDs, one LCD. So all of them are gonna get this new technology. And like I've been telling you guys, if you can hold out till next year, definitely hold out. Next year's iPhones are gonna be great. Um, don't waste your money this year unless you really need to for some reason, but the Face ID technology is going to be far superior next year and we should see faster Face ID. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it would be cool if Apple could put, you know, Touch ID under the display again, but if they're actually gonna do that, it's gonna be at least two or three years away, I think. All right, so Apple seeds the first beta of iOS 12.1.1 to public beta testers with FaceTime improvements. Now, this is kind of cool because they've actually revamped the group FaceTime um, interface already. So if you guys currently are on 12.1, you guys know you can group FaceTime and it's super cool. Um, I highly recommend you guys check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The interface is a little wonky. Like you can't swipe up from the bottom to get to your controls. Um, you can't quickly switch the camera. I know in FaceTime, you usually want to flip the camera a couple times. Uh, it's kind of cumbersome, but in this beta, they are actually fixing that and it's revamping that whole menu already. So 12.1.1 is something to look for. Uh, when it does drop, it's going to be actually a really good update for that. All right, this one's kind of sad, but Apple is adding the iPhone 5 and additional Macs to pilot program, allowing repairs of select vintage products. So they're basically saying that the iPhone 5 is pretty much nearing its end of its life. Um, it's pretty much done for repairs. And it's pretty much going to be considered vintage. So uh, I remember getting my iPhone 5. I remember getting it, walking into Verizon store and getting it. So that was a, kind of a cool experience nonetheless. Um, but it's just kind of sad to see. It's just weird to think how time flies and you know how old the iPhone 5 actually is. So a lot of you guys probably don't care about this, but I own quite a bit of Apple stock. I actually bought some more shares today, uh, which of course I shouldn't have done because their stock dropped a little bit after hours, but it'll go up. Um, sent out their reports so you guys can see uh, revenue by quarter. Uh, this is by Mac Rumors, so you guys can kind of see that. And there's a pie chart, which kind of breaks it down a little bit easier. So this is the fiscal Q4 2018. So you guys can see iPhone sales, pretty much all of their revenue. Then you got services, which is like Apple Music and such. Then you got Mac net sales. Then you got iPad net sales and then other. I don't really know what other is. I guess it's like cables and stuff. Uh -huh. Everyone needs a new lightning cable because Apple cables suck. If you guys want to go through uh, the conference call that they had, you guys can do that here. 
uh, kind of interesting to see. Uh, I did not join the call. I didn't listen to it, but I've got so much money invested in Apple. I probably should listen to that. Uh, but anyways, next up here, Apple blames currency fluctuations and uncertainty in emerging countries for weak holiday sales estimates it has to do with their quarterly uh, results there. Most of you guys probably don't care about it, but kind of interesting to see nonetheless. Now, this is not something I normally do, but I figure some of you guys are sneaker heads and I'm, I don't consider myself to be one, but um, Vans is actually collaborating with NASA, which is pretty cool. Uh, so they're actually having a couple of these. I assume these are limited edition or something, um, but they are NASA Vans and they've got a bunch of different ones and I think they look pretty sweet. Uh, so I will probably try to cop a pair. Um, just scrolling through to show you guys. Uh, now, I don't think you can order them online, which sucks. So I'll probably have to wait for them to be on StockX or something. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know these drop tomorrow. Uh, and if you guys want to see where they're dropping, you guys can go to this website. But I know we've done a van, Vans review on the channel like last year. Um, and some of you guys really enjoyed that. So, hey, I throw this in there for you guys in case you guys are space fans plus Vans fans. I mean, come on. There you go. But that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. The song of the day is Sugar Wraith by Post Malone. If you guys haven't heard it, it is a really good song. It's kind of funny, my recommended uh, videos here. Definitely watch this if you guys haven't, uh, and this one too. It's interesting to see Lil Wayne's perspective on things. But anyways, check this song out. Uh, I'll play a little bit here at the end, but I don't want to get another copyright strike like yesterday. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. I'm going to let this song ride out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I might check out the red tonight Put your arms around me, baby I just wanna fly Make it last